Hi guys. What are you doing? Well, if you're like me, <laughs> nothing is enough. What did you get? Actually, I didn't just get them, they were in the fridge. How did they get there? <laughs> hey guys, if you're like me, one fridge is not enough. You must have two and three fridges. Yep. And light them up. <laughs> you know what? Before Easter, before Easter there, was, there wasn't good produce around and the prices really soared. Isn't it amazing now that past Easter, Everything's just come. We've got heaps and heaps of beautiful stuff at reduced prices. During the Easter holiday or Lent, this was $6 a bunch and was only half as yeah. big. Oh. I got this for $2.50. Oh, wow. Look at the beauty. This is silver beet. It's type of uh, spinach and it's really great food for you. And it's really good now that it's cheap. You can afford to cook it every day if you like. <laughs> it can be all used. The stalks, the stems, the leaves. Isn't it really good for us, silver it's beets? It's fantastic. It's filled with vitamin C and it's got manganese and folate and a lot of other good stuff and very lovely. Vitamin stuff. A and B6, B6 and K. K and potassium and manganese. It's so wonderful for yeah. regulating the blood and it's just a wonderful food for your body, this one. Wow. And that's not all, you know. I've got, I've got other things in here. Let me just cut this open. There's no room in the fridge early on, so I have to get rid of the big bulky stems and I reduced it down. But still good. Sorry for this. The look, it looks a bit flat, but no worries with that one. This is kale, guys. Uh -huh. It's in the same family as these and the cabbage and Brussels sprouts. Now, the stems are very tough. You can't eat them. Okay. But these leaves are fabulous. These are the most nutrient of all products that we have. These leaves are wonderful for the body. Okay, now they look limp now, but when we soak them in water, they're gonna come beautiful, okay? Now, when you look at them, you look the front, you look at the back, you make sure there's no insects, because insects love to hide in here, okay? But we're not gonna worry too much about it, because once we've done this, we're gonna put them in a, we're gonna put them in our spinner, we're gonna, Put a pinch of salt in there, mm -hmm. top it up with water, let it soak for a good 10 minutes, okay? Because if there is anything there that I can't see with my eyes, the salt will actually just bring it out and you can just rinse it, okay? So this is going to look wonderful and we're going to make, we're not going to do kale juice today, guess what we're going to make? Kale salad. Kale salad. Mm -mm, this is it has a man in it. This is in honor of Sister Lena because she loves this dish, alright? Oh, really? And we make it really And good. Pascal loves this as well. Okay, yes, and the neighbors as well, alright? So this is a favorite dish and we're going to make it into a salad. We're going to add a lot of pomegranates. Now, if you're able to get the sour areoles, that's tops. But if you can't get sour, that's fine, okay? The sweet pomegranate will do as well. And we're going to have lots of yummy nuts toasted, dry fried, no need for oils. And we're going to make a beautiful dressing with... Well, all salad needs sort of salt and olive oil, some like lemon juice. We're going to put a lot of lemon juice with this one. And uh, what else am I going to put? Secret, secret. I'll come back later and we'll share it with you guys, okay? Now, so this is going to be the salad. So with these, you know, we can do many things with these ones, with the stems of the spinach. These ones are going to be trimmed as such. And these are going to be boiled and turned into a salad. Oh, just the stems? Just the stems. You can put leaves if you want to, but you don't need to. Just the stems with salt and oil. Mm -hmm. And a traditional Lebanese way with lots of freshly crushed garlic and mm. diluted tahini. Oh, yeah. And lemon, lemon juice, okay? So we'll do that as well. Now with the leaves, you have your pick. We can trim them into smaller portions. These make wonderful platform for rolling. Mm. Okay, we might be cooking that later on. Stuffed rolls. And you can do them vegetarian, which is a favorite of mine. Now, the odd pieces, or the little cut-offs, we don't waste those. All these little pieces, we put them together, and guess what? Right. We're going to make pastries. Oh. Ah. Yes, Swedish pastries, but my style. You haven't eaten it like the way I make it. Trust me. You're going to love it. Okay? True. And what else? These stems with a bit of green in them, they're wonderful. We cut them as small as you like. And then we're going to cook them with lentils. It's lovely on a cold How day. How many dishes out of this? Nothing goes to wow. waste with this, honestly. And you can mix it with different spinach as well. But right now we're going to trim them 
Okay, we're gonna because we're gonna be making a lot of rolls. This can be one or two. It's up to you if you want to make it into two or keep it as one. But before we ro um, roll them, see they're a bit stiff. We need it a little bit limp. So we're going to dunk it into boiling water and pick it up straight away. Okay, you don't leave it to boil and boil because that's going to become mash. Okay, mm. we don't want that. We just want it a little bit softened so we can put a stuffing in there and roll it up and cook it. Okay, now these need to be trimmed, washed, and the stuffing need to be prepared. The stuffing is going to be rice, tomato, parsley, mint if you have mint, onion for sure, lemon juice, salt and pepper, and traditionally we're going to use um, chickpeas in it as well. You can use the tinned variety, tins, or you can soak, pre-soak overnight the chickpeas and just scatter them with between. But my kids, sorry to say, don't like chickpeas in there. Mm. So what I'll do is I won't put them inside with the rolls, I'll just scatter them on top. A little Smart bit. idea. So I can get the chickpeas in the end. <laughs> okay. Good job. <laughs> okay, so let's get going. We've got a lot of work to do and we've got a lot of mouths to feed, okay? Yes. Alright, so let's start. Let's start by trimming. trimming. Okay. As I said before, here's, I'll show you another one. This is the way we trim. We look at it. See how many possible platforms we can make. This is one platform. Yep. Okay. This is a bit. This is another one. Okay. And you look at both sides to make sure there's no insects. Okay. It's pretty good. This is another one. Okay. So we're going to do all these. We'll trim them and then we'll come back and show you. Okay. Okay? Oh, and by the way, hey, we thought about feeding the animals, the dog and the chickens. What about our fish? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's feed our fish. They're very easy to look after, my goldfish. And we've had them for years. Hi, fishies. Just a little bit of fish food. Here they go. Every day. Time, same time. Wow. So when I think of my tummy, I think of my kids as well. <laughs> These are mine. Okay, so we'll get back to you soon. How soon? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and just an update on our kale that's been soaking in water. It's been soaking for more than 20 minutes in cold water with salt. Look at it, it's come out beautiful. It's doubled in volume and it's getting cleaned at the same time. Hi friends! Hi! It's always better when people come over! Yeah, we have my friend Jules. Hi! <laughs> they don't just come to eat, they actually I come know, and lend a hand. I working here doing the ramen. Well, we're, the pomegranate. Well, we're excited because we're making kale salad. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get our Jules to try for the first time. Can't wait. It's <laughs> gonna be good, we won't disappoint you. Okay, yeah. so what goes in the kale? Um, pomegranates. Wow, oh, beautiful. And these are called areels. Oh, really? Yeah, the pieces, they're called areels. Oh, yeah. I can do the colouries, but... Yeah, make a color. zoom. Go. <laughs> zoom in. <laughs> Forgot which one. Oh, don't worry. Just move in. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> they're beautiful. They're so deep. nice. Yeah, deep colour, yeah? Yeah. And we really want sour ones, but if they end up being sweet, so it be. And I think you showed them the cable yesterday, didn't you? Yes, it's now chilling in the fridge, actually. Hi, hi Curly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone else has taken your name. All right, guys. So I'm gonna leave you with that right. while I go get the nuts because we have to dry roast the nuts. Okay. Yeah. Dry fry. Also, I was doing my school vlogs, guys, and everyone at school was so sweet to me. So thank you. Thanks, friends. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to you. Okay. Okay. Look how red this is, guys. Ooh, that's beautiful. Actually, it's fiery. <laughs> Hi Crystal. Hi Mom. Back into my kitchen everybody. You're welcome. And yep. we're excited about our kale salad. Wow. Our leaves have been prepped. We washed them and spun them dry overnight. Yeah. And we kept them in the fridge. They're ready. They All we need seem to do, like crispy. And I've, I've been busy dry frying my kernels. You can use practically anything you like. What are these? I've got almond slivers. I've got sunflower seeds. And... Um, Rock melon seeds. Here I've got pistachios. Yeah. And here I've got some Pakistani pine nuts. We love our Pakistani okay. friends. Now you don't have to 
<laughs> of course, we love them. Now, you don't have to use oils or butter to fry them. You just dry fried them. Ah. Okay? Easy and delicious, okay? Yeah. And this is the dressing we're going to be making. Now, with all salads, you need a pinch of salt. You need some black pepper. And always go for freshly grinded black pepper. It makes a difference. Okay. Now, we need... Yes, guys. Honey. Some honey. If you don't have honey, you can use sugar. Okay. And if we need some lemon juice and some olive oil. You can put less olive oil. You don't have to be put, put much. And you can put lots of lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice, you can put apple cider vinegar. Okay. Wow. So we're going to squeeze that in. And mix it okay now I've only showed you how to make a little bit but of course if you're making a big amount of salad you're going to make a lot of dressing and this will keep in the fridge for a week or two so it's one of those convenient salads that you can make ahead of time for special entertaining right. so we'll come back to you later when we're ready to assemble the salad all together Wow, what do we have here? Well, wait till you taste it when it's all done. What a man. Okay, here we are. This is like a science experiment. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, the salad. Oh, sorry. These are beautiful, healthy leaves, kale leaves. Yes. And they're as simple as gathering some seeds. Mm. Any seeds you like. Okay, but pine nuts go really well with this one. So I'll put pine nuts and slivered almonds, pistachios, no. sunflower seeds, mm, and rock melon seeds. Okay. Handful of these beautiful sour pomegranates. Wow. And this is the dressing. You can use minimum oil if you like. And mostly it's lemon juice and a bit of lime juice, a bit of sugar. I don't put sugar, I put actually honey. Yeah, we showed them. Honey. We just did a little taste. And black pepper. Mm. Okay. Now, normally the leaves are very hard and you need to uh, massage them to get them to uh, calm down a bit. Yeah. But these are just perfect. I've taken away all the stems. Oh, yes. I've taken all the stems and the veins, the very hard veins. Yeah. And I've left with something quite interesting. Wow, Mom. <laughs> yeah, we should taste it, shouldn't we, before we... Yeah, yeah, let's taste it. We should get Jules to taste it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. And massaging it a little bit that will soften them. Soften them a little bit. Okay. Now what I suggest is you be generous with the pomegranate. Yep. Because you don't want to just taste green kale leaves. No, no, no. You want a salad. You want to, you want it to be transformed. Okay, so let me just put some in my so. bowl. All the lovely things are going to be down the bottom. So make sure you use them. Okay. Some more. They give excellent color. Yeah, just be generous with this. Remember, you're feeding your family. So you want to make it good, okay? Mm -hmm. There you have it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, time to taste our salad. Come with us. Alright? Yeah. Right. We are finally going to try guys, the kale salad. I'm trying it for the first time. Alright, let's go. Okay, it's bad. Bad. It Yeah, is, so. It's the best thing for you, kale. Like, it's, it has. It's very good for you. Very healthy. But we've just heard, like. And what I like about it is you can do it in advance. Yeah. And put it in the fridge, it keeps well. So if you have an occasion and you have too many things to prepare on the day, this is the time to get started now. Alright, ready? Whoever needs more dressing, don't be afraid. I'll get you more dressing. It's actually not bad. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think it's going to taste like? I don't know, because like, people say the kale is like too... It's healthy. like a it belongs, like, yeah. it belongs to the cabbage family. 
I like it. It's nice. It's better than lettuce. I don't like lettuce. Really? It's too watery for me. It sucks. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say that. Well, preparing is not easy. I like kale better on your Make sure you join us next time, guys, when we bring you another healthy recipe. Yeah. Is this healthy? Very. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kale is good for you. You can have it every day, you know. Unless you have health problems, <laughs> then you've got to be careful. People have kale in, um, like, smoothies. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And like the other green stuff, spinach. Mm. Mm. You know what I need? I need more dressing on mine. Anybody else wants dressing yeah, on mine? Nice. Just a bit more. I saw that too. Cheese, uh, so many, right? Cheers, guys. Thank you. Huh? Thanks I for stopping by my house. Two years. Uh, yeah. Is it, Mom, why are you still doing this? Oh, doing some TikToks. But I haven't pressed the code yet. Do I did. Duh. <laughs> 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 you missed it? Yeah. Alright, what are we going to do? We're not going to waste these stalks. No, we're not. These are from the silver beet. Spinach family. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's really dark here today. It's yeah. dark. It's around 1am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, you're all right. So what are we going to do with this one? We're going to chop it up and we're going to put tain. Tain in. Tain in. And lemon. Yeah, and garlic. Yeah, but it's going to okay. be delicious. Now well. these have strings, right? You don't want to eat strings, they. No, you don't. So if you see them, you just pick them. Otherwise, just chop away like this. And you're going to wash them and boil them till they're tender. They won't go very tender, mind you, okay? They just have to taste it. Although tender, but doesn't mean undone. It can be quite done in about maybe half an hour of boiling. Oh wow, okay, so that takes a bit of time. It's not like your broccoli. <laughs> okay, no. I've been lucky here, no strings. All right, so I'm going to do the whole lot. We hope you enjoyed. Hey guys, please try this recipe. You'll be a convert once you've tried kale the way we cook it. Oh wow, you'll be amazed and your body will say thank you. All right, guys, so see you then. Happy eating from Kale and Curly. Bye. Bye.